Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Ethereum is currently close, very close to my price target. So we talked about um, this triangle here, the ABCDE, Elite Wave Triangle. And we talked about that more often than not, this wave E is going to overshoot the AC line. Yeah, this is typically happening. More often than not, the wave E is overshooting the AC line. And I told you it can go as high as 3050. So we did get all the way up to 3000 psychological level as well. What is positive is that the price did actually move above the 61.8% FIP level. So this is at 2930 here. You can see that white horizontal line. You can see how the price is actually um, going above it. There is not a lot of, there was not a lot of retracement here. Yeah, and it seems like we're retesting currently this 61.8% uh, FIP level. Now that is very important um, and we will soon know if this pattern is really going to play out where we have this A, B, C, D, E. So far it's going ahead here. Yeah. So far it's working according to plan. We talked about that the price is going to go higher in this wave E. Now it's done that. I'm not sure if anybody took the trade. I didn't. For me that's always too much of a risk. Um, if you take a short term long trade here in a triangle because then decay they can be very unpredictable as well and we're not back in an, in a confirmed uptrend so it's getting interesting um yeah at least you know we're moving um and are not stuck in this sort of triangle here within these uh, support and resistance lines we broke out but now the question is do we get above this wave c i think if we get above this wave c this will be very very important yeah and if the price can hold above that 61% um 61.8% FIP level, um, there are two more levels now that I'm looking out for. So if we break above this wave, wave C, for me personally, this ABCDE is getting much less likely. Um, what would that mean? The ABCDE does mean that you actually um, exit the triangle to the downside of it, yeah, or to the opposite side of the wave E. I mean, we need to understand we're now overbought on the four hour. Yeah, you have massively overbought on the four hour chart. So the upside potential for now is limited. The question is now just can the price hold above this 61.8% FIP level, maybe move sideways a bit, maybe have a little bit of a um, yeah, bull flag, right? On the daily though, there is still much more scope. So, you know, it's not exhausted yet. We have a bullish MACD crossover. So whenever you see that, that is a good sign. It has historically been a really, really good um, forecaster for price moves in the crypto market, the MACD. Absolutely, I, I really like the MACD. Really, I, and I just use these standard um, settings most of the time. Yeah, um, yeah. And if it breaks above this wave C at three thousand fifty, we can be more confident that uh, we are moving higher as well. There is also here this potential. Well, no, no, <laughs> not like that. There's also this W pattern here. So. Huh? Where you actually make oh, that's awful. No, where you make actually this this higher low, yeah. Um, here where you had a wick. This wave B was a wick to the downside, 24th of Feb. The wave D was a higher low, yeah. So you've got your potential reversal pattern here, but overall you are just in a triangle really. So um, the market, in my opinion, has not fully decided. Yes, it looks like a, a breakout out of a triangle, but for me it really looks a lot like this A B C D E, where you are breaking back into the triangle and exit the triangle to the downside. Yeah, this is what we can, um, what, what is certainly, in my opinion, the more likely possibility. Yeah, and I always, as you know, I always tell you what I think is going to happen. But of course, I'm not naive. I know it could turn out the other way and uh, we are prepared for that on this channel. We talked about the blue, blue target area down there. I bought my long term positions and I'm happy. So when the price goes up for now, or if the price goes up now, then we are all equipped or should be equipped for a long-term uh, potential upside because um, for, for me, it is, this, it is this level. So let me just show you. So it is this level here, the red line. Yeah, this is at $3,430. That's here that wave four top. If we break above that, and this is also, above this previous low here from the 4th of December. If we break above that, it is much more likely that we actually have completed the correction, the overall correction, and we could actually then move to new all-time highs, but we need to look at the price structure then. What does the price do now on the way up? So 3,430, that is for me the critical level. Um, anything below that still has a potential to move down. 
And as I said, my primary expectation still is that we have not completed the correction. But within the volatility of the crypto market, crazy price moves are always possible and also short term gains are possible. But I think what is most important and interesting for most people is, are we now getting back into a bull run? Yeah. Or do we just have a short term upside and I'm burning my fingers? Right. That, that is what I always try to communicate here. That is because most people are really looking for that 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 low yeah that final low that is in after which you move to new all-time highs so we currently see a lot of upside again in the crypto market in my opinion that is only temporary generally um, and therefore my primary expectation remains that we're breaking here further to the downside unless unless we get above that 3430 level then it gets much more likely that we have already seen the low yeah and then we could really um, we need to evaluate then, as I said, and look at the price structure and then um, can make a judgment if the low was already in. At the moment, what is happening down here does not look very impulsive yet. It for me looks like a trend continuation pattern, just a consolidation after this strong downtrend. It has taken a long time, that consolidation now. So um, uh, it's a large triangle in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I think we are getting close to that decision point at $3,050. And after that, the next decision point will be at 3,430. Or again, if you lose the 61.8% FIP level at 2,950, you're probably going to go down into the blue target area again between $1,700 and 2,380. Yeah, um, I think that moved a little, no, 2,400 roughly. That's the 78.6% FIP level. So yeah. I'm um, giving you a clear direction what I think is going to happen, but of course we need to be prepared for both scenarios. Very, very uncertain times, very uncertain markets at the moment. And you wanna understand what can happen in each of these scenarios. Yes, so hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave, um, leave a comment as well for the algorithm and subscribe if you haven't done so. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching, bye-bye.